So how do we present multiple VLANs to our PFSense or OpenSense virtual machine when we only have one LAN connection? So first thing we're going to do, let's open up our Hyper-V manager and come over to our virtual switch manager and click on that. And you're going to see I have a couple of virtual switches here. Uh, the one that we're concerned about for this video is the SW underscore FW underscore LAN. So that's my, it's a switch. It's my, it goes to my firewall and it's the LAN connection. That is how I distinguish it. Um, if you look at my settings here, it is an external switch. It is mapped to a physical ethernet adapter here, this X520-2. Uh, it's a 10 gig connection up to my unified core switch. So that is how I have it configured. There's no VLAN configuration here. It's just merely mapping uh, the virtual switch to a physical adapter. So let's look at the, con the actual config of our virtual firewall. So if we come over here and right click on settings on the actual firewall VM, we're gonna, the first thing you're gonna notice is a bunch of adapters present, even though there's actually technically only three physical adapters mapped to this virtual machine. Uh, so the first one is my primary WAN connection, which is my Verizon connection, my backup WAN connection, which is my Cox connection, and then we have all these LAN connections. So this first one is my management VLAN, VLAN 1 uh, on my Unify switch. Um, there's no enable virtual LAN identification here because it's just using the native VLAN, the main VLAN, which is VLAN 1. And then, so I have other VLANs that I want to present to my OpenSense VM so that I can use it to manage traffic on other networks. So we'll come look at my next adapter and VLAN 10 is my lab network. For those of you that have watched my other videos in the past, um, we want to make sure we check this off here, uh, enable virtual LAN identification, and then you can put your VLAN number in. Now it is important to remember that the port on my Unify switch that comes down to uh, this network adapter here that I showed you previously, it is a trunk port. So it's going to pass all of the VLANs down to the port. Um, this, is, this is how we're getting those VLANs to show up in OpenSense, right? So then I've got VLAN 25, I've got VLAN 35 and 45. So those are just some other VLANs I have in my lab. And that's how you get it. That's how you present it to OpenSense in Hyper-V. So let's take a look at OpenSense itself and see what it looks like in there. Logging into our administrative interface for OpenSense, uh, you're going to come to the interfaces tab here, and then you're going to come down to assignments. Um, so once you click this, now you can see all those adapters are going to have uh, I guess virtual MAC addresses, if that's what you want to call them. Um, and you can find those in Hyper-V. Uh, if you come back to Hyper-V here real quick, um, if you open it, go back to settings, and let's say we want to find uh, the MAC address of one of these adapters. Uh, so we'll just pick, uh, randomly we'll pick this one. And so we're going to come over to Advanced Features. And even though it's grayed out, so we know the last four of this MAC address for VLAN 25 is AC-0B. So we can close out of this and you can come up to here and you can see, so this is what I've called my LAN VLAN 25 and I've assigned it to this virtual MAC address. That's how it passes through to um, OpenSense. Once you've done your assignments and saved it, you'll see your VLANs pop up as interfaces here, right? So uh, we'll take a look at VLAN 25. Uh, I don't have this interface enabled right yet, so that's a poor example. Um, all right, let's look at the lab interface. So we're going to, I've enabled the interface, I've given it a description, uh, I've given it a an IP address, and I've left the gateway as auto detect. So now this is set up here, and you have, you now have an interface on OpenSense.